Mountain Home Kuna Lava Field. Extends about 95 kilometers between Mountain Home and Kuna Melba area, southeast of Boise River Valley. This extensive field of quaternary basalt extends about 95 kilometers between Mountain Home and Kuna Melba area, southeast of Boise River Valley. Basaltic outcrops have been dated since 2 MA at Wild Horse Butte and Jack S. Butte. Sierra Grand. Lava flows that erupted near Big Southern Butte 10,780 years ago, plus or minus 300. And you can see it's here. Let me see if we can get a view out this way. Let me see a view out there. Until the screen's a little bit, looks like they stitched the pictures together. Okay, and that's Sierra Grand. Mean and Buttes. North and South. North and South Mean and Buttes are the largest, two largest of a north-south line of basaltic tuff cones formed by Fredo Mag magnet eruptions along Snake River. So I'm going to come back a little bit. You can see this is Mean and Buttes North here. This is north, so I'm going to pull up north. Are the two largest north south line of basaltic tuff cones formed by phreatomagmatic eruptions on Snake River of eastern Idaho? They were considered to be very late Pleistocene or more probably early recent Holocene by Hamilton and Myers. Creighton 1987 cites mapping of the point that indicates a late middle to late Pleistocene age, as does King and Woods and Kino, 1990. Okay, so that was Meaning Buttes North, and then we have Meaning Buttes South, which is over here. And we're going to come down here and see if we can get a road view. Or we can go almost anywhere over here. Oh, that's cool. get a look. I believe that's north there. And then you have south over here on this side.
Hell's Half Acre Lava Field. Young Basaltic Lava Field, a Snake River Plain. Conversion area of about 400 square kilometers southwest of Idaho Falls and is the second largest of the Snake River Plain. There's two major lava flows lobes about five kilometers wide, 10 kilometers long, extend to the south and southwest along the floodplain of the Snake River and around Morgan's Pasture, a large Kapuda, Kapuka, Interstate 15 highway crosses the southeast margin of the lava field southwest of the city of Idaho Falls. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see much, but we'll try. So you can see the lava fields out that way. And field here. There's a lava hiking trail over here. I was hoping to be able to see something, but anyway, moving on to the next one. Black Butte Crater Lava Field. Is the westernmost of the young lava fields of the Eastern Snake River Plain. You can see you have Black Butte Crater right here. The Black Butte Crater Lava Field, for formerly Shoshone Lava Field, is the westernmost of the young lava fields of the eastern Snake River Plain. It lies north of Twin Falls, Idaho, and created an L-shaped lava field flow two to five kilometers in width that extends 60 kilometers south and then west. A single radiocarbon age of 10,130 plus or minus 350 years was obtained for lava flows from the field. Black Butte Crater caps a lava shield that lies at the northeast end of the field, flow field. The vent area contains a complex lava lake that forms a six-part flower petal-like depression with steep wall, steep sided walls up to 30 m high that covers an area of two kilometers. A lava tube and channel system extends five kilometers southeast of the crater and displays both roof and collapsed portions. The Big Wood and Little Wood rivers follow the northern and southern margins of the distal part of the lava flow, respectively. The voluminous flow diverted the river channels so that they now joined 40 kilometers west of their former confluence. That is like so neat. Let's see what we can see here. Hmm. 
a escape. And then moving on to the next one. Wapi Lava Field. Consists of a low shield volcano formed during an eruption about 2,250 years ago that produced about six kilometers of fluid Pahoho lava flows. And if you look on my maps and on Google Earth and online, you can find more information. This is Pillar Butte over here. And moving on to the next one. Blackfoot Lava Field. Is located in southeastern Idaho. There are three rhyolite domes ranging in age from 58 plus or minus 7 Ka to about 1.5 Ma. And Blackfoot lava field may be, may be a potential geothermal research resource. And moving on to the next one. Sinker Butte. A Pliocene shield volcano and tuff cone in western Snake River Plain. Sinker Butte is partially dissected by the Snake River Canyon. Lava flows from the tuff cone flowed up to 10 kilometers to the south. A broad shield, lava shield, is over, overlain by a large tuff cone that is capped with lava flows and Walter's splatter. Three buttes. East Butte, the farthest east, flowed up and cooled quickly about 600,000 years ago. Big Southern Butte emerged about 300,000 years ago. And Middle Butte, however, is a block of hard lava. And here we're going to go do a ground view. So you can view them from here. One, 
two and three. And you can see this three buttes and big butte. Okay, now we're gonna go up. And we can look at Middle Butte, which is here. And East Butte, which is back here. It has something on top over here. Radio station. And Big Southern Butte. Which is over here. Sorry, you guys. My dogs got excited. Shh. Okay, now we're moving on to the next one. Big Southern Butte. Is the largest and youngest of 300,000 year old three rhyolitic domes formed over a million years ago near the center of the eastern Snake River Plain. And this also goes along with the three buttes. And moving on to the next one. King's Bull Rift formed at about the same time along a central eruptive fissure flanked by two parallel non-eruptive fissures. And this is Huge. This is Great Rift over here. Crystal Ice Caves is here. And this is a rift here. And moving on to the next one. Pillar Butte. Mass of layered lava flows and agglutinates forms the high point of the lava field shield. The split butte mar to the west is partially overlapped by flows of the Wape lava field. So you see Pillar Butte, this is Wape lava field. And moving on to the next one. Henry's Fork Caldera. And as you can see, I have a map in front of me. And it's nested inside the Island Park Caldera and the Caldera share a rim on the western side. The earlier Island Park caldera is much larger and more oval and extends well into Yellowstone Park. 
So if you look here, you can see this area here is Henry's Fort Caldera. And we back out, and this is where Island Park Caldera is, is over this way, but it runs the entire length. So Henry's Fort Caldera is like right in here. And all of this would be all part of the Greater Yellowstone, except this part here is in another state. And moving on to the next one. Heist Volcanic Field is a volcanic field. Composed of a series of silic, ashfall tufts, ignimbrites, and rhyolite lava interbedded with terrestrial and volcanoclastic sediments that are exposed on the margins of the eastern Snake River Plain of East Central Idaho. And you can get more information online. And we're moving on to the next one. Craters of the Moon Lava Field. Okay. Um, Craters of the Moon, the largest lava field of the Snake River Plain, covers about 1,600 square miles where more than 60 mappable lava flows erupted from eight fissure systems, about 25 cinder cones up to 250 meters high, formed primarily along a 45-kilometer long segment of the Great Rift, the principal two- to eight-kilometer-wide fissure system that trends northwest-southeast through Craters of the Moon National Monument. Craters of the Moon lies at the northwest part of the eastern Snake River Plain and the north northern part of the field laps up against the White Knob and Pioneer Mountains. The lava field was formed during eight eruptive episodes between 15,000 and 2,000 years ago, separated by quincent periods of about 3,000 years in du direct duration. This contrasts with the other Snake River Plain lava fields, which were formed during single eruptive episodes of relatively short duration. A complex assemblage of basaltic volcanic features is found at craters of the moon, and cinder cones are common in contrast to other Snake River Plain lava fields. And you can see how huge this is. And we're moving on. Now we're going to go over some buttes, and this is Picabo Volcanic Field, which is over here. You can find more information on it online. All of these are on the same link. Next one is Sand Butte, which is over here. That's kind of neat looking. The next one is Wagon Butte. The next one is Broken Top. The 
thicknesses in the craters in the moon area. We have silent cone, which is over here. Then big cinder. Then we move on to Crescent Butte. Which is here. The North Laidlaw Butte. Then Fissure Butte. Our next butte is Spud Butte. Big blowout butte. Bear Den Butte. Snow Drift Crater. Then Mule Butte. Hey, baby. This is Mule Butte. Horse Butte. Mosby Butte. We have Split Top Butte. Until it looks split right here, so it's the difference. Pack Saddle Butte. And you can look all these up on this site here which is from USGS. We have Antelope Butte. Pratt Butte.
service berry butte. And this is listed also by the same links that are given, USGS. Rock Carl Butte. Fingers Butte. And our last one is Coyote Butte. Anyway, I post all these on a map and you can look at them. Um, stay tuned for my next video. And thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos.